This video is sponsored by Propel EV, a brand that makes all-terrain riding more accessible. With their latest products, the Endeavor Pro and S, all-terrain riding is no longer a luxury sport. Check out Propel at ridepropel.com. With a wildly successful launch in 2017, the original Meepo board kick-started the era of affordable e-skates and soon earned itself a notorious reputation for being the most frequently refreshed product in this niche. Within six months, we saw the Meepo V1.5, which was immediately followed by the Meepo V1.51, and then V2, V2+, and finally V3 in 2019. For a company that's so addicted to rolling out marginal improvements in short succession, we were more than surprised when 2020 rolled past without a Meepo V4. Now, in the fourth quarter of 2021, the version 4 of their bestseller finally arrived. It has been a while. All we can say is that this had better be good. And, oh god, this box is not a great start. I didn't realize Meepo was selling boards from Toys R Us now. Luckily for Meepo, this should be easily changed once they realize that we are buying e-skates for ourselves and not for our kids. If you do like the design of the box, please drop a comment below to make your support known. Otherwise, I bet it won't last beyond the first batch. Thankfully, the design of the Meepo 4 is nothing like the box. Let's take a quick look at the specs to start off. The Meepo V4 deck is a combination of 8-ply Canadian maple and 1-ply fiberglass. It has a pretty aggressive W concave, mild flexibility, and a slight rocker profile. I love decks with rocker profiles. I'll explain why later. The deck is also slightly shorter than most longboards at 36 inches, typical longboards are 38 inches, which is supposed to help with storage. Using a relatively shorter deck also means a shorter wheelbase, which allows for a smaller turning radius. This should help with urban commuting. For the electronic speed controller, the Meepo V4 uses the latest redesigned Ling Yi ESC with the push to start feature. As always, the Ling Yi ESC has four acceleration modes and four braking modes, set independently from each other. When it comes to smoothness, Ling Yi has been playing catch up with the Hobbywing ESCs since 2018. As the years go by, they keep coming closer, and hopefully this time they will manage to be as smooth as Hobbywing. When it comes to battery, the Meepo V4 uses a 10S 2P 4 amp hour that's rated at 144 watt hours. Although 10S 2P batteries have been the standard for entry-level e-skate boards, we are still slightly disappointed that Meepo did not go for a 12S setup like its nemesis, the WoWGOES 2S Pro, did. Anyhow, Meepo promised a modest 11 miles or 18 kilometer range for the V4, and our range test yielded us 10 miles or 16 kilometers. On a related note, the battery features fast charging, able to reach a full charge in 30 minutes. For the trucks, Meepo recreated the mold for their proprietary shredder trucks. These are a pair of 7-inch trucks that are 45 degrees. The bushings are 90A. Meepo says they made a new, more precise mold, which they say should improve its overall performance. What I can say for sure is that it sure looks a hell of a lot better. The Meepo V4 uses 640-watt dual-hub motors. Typical Meepo, always trying to one-up everyone else when it comes to motor power. For reference, WowGo 2S Pro uses dual 500-watt motors. Backfire G2 Black uses dual 400-watt hubs. And the old Meepo V3 uses a pair of 540-watt hubs. However, higher wattage doesn't always mean better torque, especially when paired with only a modest 10S 2P battery. This is something we tested on our later ride. These hub motors are currently not compatible with Cloud Wheels Donuts, but there is always a chance that they will develop one. The durometer for the front wheels is 72A, pretty soft, and the PU sleeve is rated to have an 82A durometer. It is worth mentioning that the Meepo V4 does have an IP6X certification, which means dust proof and some water resistance. Now that we know the build and specs, it's time to ride. Initially, I thought the V4 was designed with stability as a priority, and indeed the V4 is a very stable ride. 
The deck, which has an aggressive W-shaped concave, helps to lock in our feet, and the rocker deck adds another level of comfort, seeing as the rocker curve gives our foot something to push against during speed changes. Only having a mild flex on the deck further adds to stability. On top of that, the rocker deck also means a lower ride height, which improves stability even more. Unfortunately, lowering the ride height is a double-edged sword, as the very low 44mm ground clearance causes the enclosure to kiss the floor when we ride over speed bumps. Riding on poorly paved roads is not very comfortable on the V4, which isn't much of a surprise. Hub boards are never fun when the pavement is rough. Meepo's 45-degree shredder trucks are also biased towards stability, while 50-degree trucks, such as the Poseidon trucks on the WowGo 2S Pro, would be more carvy than stable. With that said, it's a nice pair of trucks. While the shredder trucks do not rise to the level of branded trucks such as the Caliber 2 or Paris, they are definitely just as good as the other proprietary trucks found among affordable e-skates. The trucks are decent for carving, have good return to center, and are absolutely stable to ride at top speed. Initially, I even found the new Lingyi ESC to be boringly safe, with no punch. Yes, it's now as smooth as a Hobbywing ESC, but this was actually a disappointment for a Meepo diehard who loves Meepo for its obsession with power, torque, and thrill. If you recall the Meepo V3, it was and still is one of, if not the most powerful entry-level electric skateboards out there. Meepo was so obsessed with power that it was willing to sacrifice ride comfort for the V3 by reducing the hub wheel's PU sleeve's thickness in order to make space for a pair of giant 540 watt motors. So, I thought that Meepo's diehard fans would hate the new gentler ride direction that the V4 was taking. And then, just after I posted my article review essentially calling the Meepo V4 a PG-13 beginner-friendly toy, I was informed by the Meepo team that I wasn't sent the production ESC. The prototype ESC that all of us reviewers get had its power capped and wouldn't give us the full power that the real V4 in production would. So, our team decided not to make assumptions and waited for the real ESC. After switching over to the new ESC, I found myself cursing the Meepo team, because I now had to rewrite half of my review, as my conclusion on its power did a 180. After changing to the actual ESC, the Meepo V4 showed its true colors, unleashing the absolute beast that we always expected Meepo to be. Going for the highest speed mode, the board is freaking strong, with powerful acceleration that would knock you off if you are not prepared for it. The braking is very strong too, smooth but very strong. Thankfully, for those who prefer relaxing rides, the third acceleration mode and second brake mode have kept their gentle profile. In the end, the Meepo V4's modest 10S2P did not end up bottlenecking the dual 640 watt motors, as the hub still delivered some of the most powerful acceleration you can find amongst hub driven boards. And this is now the most powerful hub board we know of at the sub $500 price point. To put the torque in context, the Meepo V4's acceleration is about 30% stronger than its fiercest rival, the WowGo 2S Pro. Being hub driven, the Meepo V4 might not have a torque that a typical dual belt drive e-skate has. However, the Meepo V4 does have a steeper acceleration curve, giving it a more thrilling start than an average belt driven board when drag racing on a flat surface. Ah, Meepo, don't you ever change. So to summarize, the Meepo V4 might not have the biggest battery for its price, but when everything is said and done, it's more well-rounded, more versatile than ever, while still being as thrilling as we always wanted it to be. While its nemesis, the WowGo 2S Pro, another top pick for an entry-level board, has a slight edge in battery size and carving fun, the Meepo V4 excels on both sides of the extremes. On the one hand, New riders will value the gentle ride and stability the Meepo V4 provides, with its stable trucks, lower ride height, and relaxing control in the lower speed modes. At the other extreme, the V4 became a thrilling beast once you turn the speed and brake modes to the max. Thrilling acceleration, strong brakes, everything that gets your adrenaline pumping. The Meepo V4 might also be well suited for another often forgotten group, the e-skate commuters. 
This is due to its 30 minute quick charge option, as well as its shorter length, allowing for tighter turns on sidewalks, easier handling, and a better fit in a car trunk. All in all, for under $500, the Meepo V4 is among the top two, if not the top choice in the market right now. As always, if you are looking to buy a Meepo, or actually any e-skate, be sure to use our affiliated discount code with the link below. It will help you get a small monetary discount and helps us out too. You'll also be tagged as an Electric Skateboard HQ customer and probably be treated better. Ride safe, guys.